The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. One of my favorite economists to follow. I don't always agree with him, but I like the way he speaks and I learn a lot from him and his attitude of speech. Uh, Peter Schiff. I've been watching him since the great financial crisis. And uh, I gave his show a little bit of a nickname. His show would come on and it would go bum 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 and he would say the Peter Schiff show. And I thought it sounded a lot like the Peter Shit show. And he likes to talk shit about the economy, right? How, how the numbers are doctored and un unemployment's a lot higher than it really is. Inflation's a whole lot higher. And so um, how you need to get out of the U.S. stock market, buy emerging market stocks, buy, buy gold. Uh, he doesn't like he doesn't like strategic metals though. Uh, he doesn't even like platinum and palladium. So uh, you can only imagine his attitude toward bismuth or tantalum or some of the other strategic metals, right? Which is kind of funny because we have a lot of gold to go around. But uh, if we're going to get anywhere, see, the last thing if bismuth prices were to crash, the last thing I would worry about is how much money I, I had lost. It means that our technology is going backward, right? So I think Bismuth is a very safe bet, right? Uh, but he doesn't agree with that. And um, so I, I liked him so much, I decided to adopt his opening theme. And two years ago, I started going to Peter Shit Show. And I would, saying shit wasn't enough for me. I had to put my middle finger up. And unfortunately, I started getting a lot of dislikes. Now, my entire life is just one giant dislike, right? People disagree with my ways of life, my choice of hobbies, my choice of romance, my choice of um, like, uh, career paths. And um, unfortunately, it, it would be one thing if people simply disagreed with me. But a lot of times, I work in a very social environment. A lot of times, disagreement means that you're out, right? And um, so that's why I like to call myself dislike. Um, so for example, uh, last month I went to see the solar eclipse in Kerrville, Texas, but because of my sexuality, right, the trip was a lot more complicated than it had to be because I was the only one driving, right? If there were two of us driving, that, that vacation could have gone a lot further in terms of uh, what I got out of it, right? That's what I mean by dislike. I live in a world that's not set up for me, right? Not set up for solo sexuality, for people who like to... Uh, 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 who don't like to uh, uh, indulge, I don't like to drink, I don't eat junk food obviously, I, I'm not a very indulgent person. I don't even use caffeine anymore these days, right? And unfortunately, the, whole, the, the entire world is tilted against the various uh, religions, sexualities, um, eating habits, you get the idea, right? And so that's, that's the other reason I like to call myself the Peter Dislike Show, right? Two reasons. Number one, I get a ton of dislikes uh, on my channel. And number two, the barriers that being disliked come with, right? And, uh, and also, sometimes dislikes are a good thing because if everybody's disliking what you like, it's easier to do it, right? If, ever, if, if a lot of people made Bismuth art, I wouldn't be able to do it, right? If a lot of people like to call themselves the Peter Dislike Show, I wouldn't stick out anymore, right?